Yo guys, what's up? welcome back to Season 2, Episode 2 of the Bordeaux Career Mode. First of all, I apologize, um, my microphone broke, so I'm using a mic that's not so good, so I know the audio quality might not be the best. Hopefully it's just a short-term thing, but um, it's not going to stop us, we're going to get into this episode here. Uh, we re-signed Albert Ellis last episode, he's got a new face scan there. We signed uh, Hector Herrera on a pre-contract, Adley, um, re-signed him. We signed this guy Cruz, and Aspilicueta from the free agency, Leca from Lens, and tempelli has got a new face, so that's pretty cool. Um, and we also signed that free agent Bravo. Um, but now in terms of the center back department, we're pretty lacking. We're lacking a lot, actually. Um, so that his career is probably done, honestly. He's been out for nine months with an ACL injury. He's just not going to be the same, you can see. Uh, Koscielny's aging. Singo can play center back, but he's not really a natural center back. By say in the reserves, another aging player. So it's really just Cruz and Gregerson right now. Um, but So I, I will try switching to a four back next episode, I guess. But right now, we've got to get in this game against Nice. First game of the season here. Nico Melamed and Joe Pedro starting up top. Andy Delort at left mid with Ashley Westwood. It's been a pain in the butt to play against the save. Lamina, Stangs, Kamara, Rugani, Todibo, and Hugo Mayo from Celta, I believe. Benitez in goal. Uh, they got former player Enoch Quateng and Adam Hwazek on the bench. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, it should be a good, uh, good battle here. We're away for our first game of the season. Hope we can get the three points. And I really want to keep utilizing the wings. That's really what I love about this four-back formation is how much space we have on the wings here. Nice starting off the attack here. Intercepted well by Pembele. And just as I said, we're going to drive up the field and no one no one is on him. We'll go inside to Ram. Back outside of Pembele. He's got lots of space. Time to send the ball in the middle. He does. Els with the header. Great save by Benitez. Would have been a great way to start the, uh, start the episode, start the season. But we take a corner here. Going towards Ellis is cleared away. Now uh, finally cleared away by Delort. Cruz has got it. We'll give him a long shot. It's blocked. He'll stay with it. He's going to try and win the header first. Second time's the charm here. We'll get it back to him. Cruz playing like a uh, center back striker here. It's a good run by Yassine Adley. What a goal this would be. Off the post. Unlucky with the chances are there. It's just what we want to see here. Nice with the attack here. Hector Herrera loses the ball poorly. Now Joe Pedro. Has a chance to strike it. Good save by Leca in goal. Jean Luis Leca. I'll take it short to Westwood here. Pembele does well to block the pass. And now he can start a counter attack going. Send this one out wide to Taram. Now we got Cruz. Ellis making the run. It's a good ball, and we know that he has the pace to get around the defender. Indeed, he does. Can we get a ball in here to Maja? He can't get the best of connection with it. And now, 45th minute here, running the edge of halftime. Lamina dribbling around the top of the box here. He can't get the ball off him, and he forces a corner. Second half of your 60th minute, Stangs will send this ball into Melamed. Back out, and Stangs goes to ground. It's a penalty. I disagree. I strongly disagree with this one. I think it's a, it's a harsh challenge. It's a strong challenge, but you can see the replay here. Jean Lacoumi gets the ball. Um... So I guess that kind of depends on the referee, but he's going to the left. Oh, he does, but it's a brilliant penalty from Andy Delort. High, hard, and off the post. No stopping that. Tried to intimidate him a little bit with the new goalie. No such luck. 87th minute here, we try to get a counterattack going. This has to be a card, at least he stops a, uh, an obvious counterattacking chance here in the, the Kefren Taram derby. But, uh... We'll try and kindle one more attack here. We'll go to Adley. Adley will look for the run of Farias. Instead, we'll go out wide to Kakashi. Now, that's a good ball to Farias. Can he get us the equalizer? He's off sides. And the game will end 1 0. Denise, just a funny thing here. Betis win the Super Cup against Atletico Madrid 3 2. The first big European matchup. Uh, we scouted a few players that are listed for loan and on the free agents list. I did those off camera, so we'll review them right after this scout report from Switzerland. Um, once all the scout reports return, 
then I will send them out to the places you guys voted for in Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, go do so. It's a great way to influence what happens in the save. Um, O'Shea Tutu was a backup right wing back. I don't think we'll need him. Liam Delap. Not, uh, not the best rating. Vitinha is someone I'm interested in. Uh, more of a creative center mid to bring off the bench. He could be something. And Brian Acosta as well. Great well-rounded stats. He could be good to fill in for Hector Herrera. Because we will have a tight schedule with Champions League. Various cup competitions in the league. So, Nana and Poma as well here. He's got speed, but nothing much besides that. Um... Yeah, big issue, because we're in the Champions League now, everybody expects expects a bigger, co a bigger contract, like, you know, at least 10 grand a week, so it's a mild inconvenience, so I don't really want to sign anyone, unless we really think they're right for the team. Ryan Acosta here, look at his stats, he's got the stats of a 75 overall player, great aggression, great speed as well, he's really well-rounded, solid player, no arguing with that. So we will get him in on a 13 grand a week contract, he's got a real face, good stuff. Stade Bristois. First home game of the season. I'm expecting three points. Nothing but it. It is a one-all draw. That is disappointing. Uh, Timothy Pembele, though. Good to see him getting on the score sheet. I don't know. Alex Bravo. Someone pointed out in the comments that Alex Bravo could be DeMarcos' regen. And DeMarcos did used to play for Athletic Bilbao. So this is one of the few times that I would actually accept an offer from Athletic Bilbao. We'll send him out. Alex Bravo on a one-year loan. So that'll be good for him. Jumping into this game against Lens here. Twelfth minute. They get a good good bit of passes here. And now it's Ganago who can run cutting inside. A bit of a mix up in the box. But it's put home by Enes Yunal. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that U. The uh, smiley face U if anybody knows how. Popping in the comments I would guess. Maybe some Turkish or maybe German users could help here. Big chance with Josh Madger. We'll send it across. Great save. Now trying to win this ball back. Adley will head it down. Alice on the first time shot. It's a beauty. An absolute beauty from our Honduran superstar. Bit of a swagger walk there. But it's completely justified. It's a brilliant strike. He's caught Walker Farinas, I believe it is. Off guard there. Tyrone does well to win the header. Adley sends it over to Ellis. Brilliant finish. We're level at 1 all. But uh, what you're going to see pretty quickly here is how frustrating this game was. I think Lens have a lot of great players. Klaus, Klaus, I'm not sure what to. I th I'm going to call him Klaus. But um, Kakuta, Unal, and Ganago was an incredible player to face against. You're going to see in a second here. He just turns on the Jets and he's away from the entire back line. We draw a level in the 53rd minute. We go behind the 55th minute. It's not ideal. But, um, we'll make do here. We'll find this one. Ellis, first time shot from Adley. Good save, and we force a corner. Looking to, uh, draw level again here. Pembele will send this ball in. It's not the, uh, not the best of headers. For missing Adley there. It's a comfortable save for Farinas in goal. But we'll look to stop this counterattack because, um, right now, we need to be getting a point at the absolute minimum. But really, this should be an easy three points, so, um, but we're struggling, we're struggling, and it's not, not pretty, but, um, we're just going to do our best, I guess, really, we got to prioritize making sure that we get a Champions League spot next year as well. But, uh, Kakashi wins the ball, and now we can start a quick break with Isi Adley here. We'll go inside to Albert Ellis. It's a good run by Maja, he'll get it. Now, can he get past the defender? He can. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, never in doubt. Never in doubt. Josh Maja, the Englishman, Mr. Reliable, scores again. We'll actually bring him off for Farias here, but it's a good finish. I thought I took maybe one too many touches, but in the end it doesn't matter. Clinical. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're picking up on a couple of hints here. Just what happened last time. Lens are going try to try to get a good attack going here. Klaus does well to keep it in balance. Incredibly acrobatic kick here. Now they'll find Unal. Nice bit of a flare pass. Now he'll get it back. Just waiting for the move of Kakashi. Or maybe that was oddly. I'm not sure. They'll get it into Kakuta. Can he swing the ball in? Yes, he can. 
And, um, yeah, if this was a live recording, we would have had one of those, uh, sensor bleeps. But, uh, we go back down behind here. And now a chance for Lens to really kill the game. First shot blocked. Look at it again. Second shot blocked. And now can we get one more counterattack before the ref blows the whistle? The answer is no. One point from a possible nine is not ideal. Not ideal in the slightest here. But this is something that's exciting to see. All of these matches rescheduled. You know what that means. We all know what that means. I'm not going to sing the anthem for you. Uh, I think that's mutually beneficial that I don't sing, but um, UEFA Champions League group stage draw is upon us. Bordeaux, let's see what group we get. Group B, Manchester City, Juventus, Bordeaux, and Feyenoord. That's a tough group. If we, if we want to get out of that group, we're going to need all six points against Feyenoord and maybe a point against Juventus and or Manchester City. But uh, we'll play this game against Claremont Foot, or we'll sim it. Um, and then next episode, I want to try to play more games off camera, so we'll probably play the game against Juventus to start next episode. So I'm going to play a lot of these games off camera. Hopefully we get a couple of points out of them. But uh, we need three points from this game. And... Oh my goodness. So two goals in two minutes. Triore saves us. But um, that's extremely disappointing. We're going to need to... Uh, Snap back into shape next episode. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See you later.